police call and let's see what what this is all about <laughs> Hi guys, I uh, picked up this uh, uh, this gentleman Wacko. at the um, Wacko. Wacko at the uh, Hyatt Hotel in uh, Sarasota, and we're going to Gainesville. Yes, we're going to Gainesville, three hours and a half away. And his name is. What's your Hi, name? my name is uh, Sherlock Magoo. Sherlock Magoo, don't forget that. So what happened there? Why huh? did they, Why did they kick you out of hotel? Well, because the lady didn't like the fact that the TSA stole my picture ID. Why would TSA steal your picture? What the hell are they going to do with it? Well, what they did is when uh, I couldn't find my passport, mm -hmm. my daughter from uh, Boston got a new one. Mm -hmm. And I was traveling on the one that they had canceled. So I used it for six months and it got me by everywhere, including the bank. But when I got back into Miami, they said, oh, this is a canceled passport. And they took it. Oh, my God. And yeah. they took your ID, too? That was my only picture ID. Oh, my God. So what I could do is I could sleep on the street. Homeless. Wow. Homeless guy, that's me. Wow. Was the officer really nice to you? Well, yeah. Yeah. Part of the time. Part of the time? <laughs> I thought, you know, he was very concerned that... I, yeah. would, I would not drop you off just anywhere. Yeah, I know. Well, yeah, because uh, I said they could come and visit me and came in. <laughs> <laughs> but in so, the beginning, I thought they were going to take me out and rape me. Oh, yeah? Who? Oh. The police. Oh, yeah? Yeah. You think they were going to have a good time? I don't think so, no. <laughs> so tell me, what uh, what were I'm you doing? I'm a virgin. You're a virgin? You swear on your kids? Huh? You swear on your kids you're a virgin. Huh? <laughs> so, yeah, no, no vagina. No, no what? <laughs> no vagina. No um, so what were you doing in the Cayman Islands? I've had a uh, place down there since uh, 1985. I was practicing in Venice, oh. orthopedic surgery. Oh, in Venice? City of Venice? Venice, yeah. Oh. oh, wow. So you're a smart cookie then. I don't know. Sometimes I wonder. <laughs> <laughs> so we're taking this long, long journey. I'm, at least I'm a smart ass. There you go. There you go. So yeah, we're uh, we're gonna do a little. Oh, look at them. They, they broke down. You wanna go help them out? Huh? You wanna go help out those people that just uh, broke down? Yeah. Okay. Do I look like uh, Abraham Lincoln? I think so. You know. Hello. You're Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> So, uh, what's your uh, purpose in life? To find a nice lady. Oh, girls? I need to start a... Uh, girls, he's I single. A, I need to start a new family. He needs to start a new family. Hey, look at him. He'll take care of you. Oh, he'll take care of you. Would well, you? my oldest daughter is now a professor of pharmacology at... University of Massachusetts Medical School in Worcester, Massachusetts, and my youngest 
is a professor of OB dining at the Thomas Jefferson in Philadelphia. She's the director of internship and residency training. So there you go, girls. If he gets yeah, you, if you want a good father, come over this way. Yeah, if he gets you guys pregnant. You no, guys no, gonna... no. What do you mean? They're no. too young. Who too young? Your, your girls. My girls. Who are they? Who are you talking to? I'm, no, I'm talking. I'm talking to the girls that they could go ahead and contact you, and oh. if, if you get them pregnant, they're going to have genius kids. Well, they're going to so. be smart. They're going to be doctors, oh. lawyers, scientists, you name it. Yeah. You know, because you're just a special breed. You know what I'm saying? Well, I'm Norwegian. He's Norwegian. Norwegian. And that's because I well, can't even I say that. I can't even say that. I saw a program with uh, Brian Gumble. Uh huh. You know him? No. Actually, Brian Gumbled is on uh, Good Morning America, but his brother is uh, the one who does the sportcasting. Yeah, another thing, what um, you were having a hard time uh, when I took you into Walgreens. You were saying something about Trump. Huh? You were saying something about Trump. That you love Trump. Oh, me, Trump? Yeah. yeah. No, I think he belongs in a dung heap. He's a dung beetle. Did you know that it's just like Kennedy? Uh -huh. The only Kennedy that was any good was Bobby Kennedy. Uh -huh. And he would have been a hell of a good president, but he died in 1968 when I was still in medical school. Oh. But Jack was a real scoundrel. He was uh, he was taking virgins and uh, defloridating them on uh, Jackie Kennedy's bed. Oh, she I was see. Virginia. Oh, I see. And they made all their money by uh, rum running them. Irish whiskey across Lake Ontario. Hey, um, those girls at Walmart, those ladies in Walmart, you know, because you asked one lady to go with you to the Cayman Islands, and she said, she told the other lady. No. Yep. yep. She's she, with me? Yeah, that's what she said. And then when you told her. I didn't hear that. Yeah, and then when you told her that you needed a box of condoms, that lady goes, oh my God, I'm going to have a blast with him. Can you believe that? You I hope so. You could, you're gonna need like a. I figured it was a good line. You could, well, yeah, that was. You know, you should have said something like, you know what, angels like you don't fall from the sky every day. Yeah, right. You should have. That's a good line. Yeah, you should have. Can I use it? Yeah, of course, of course. I'll, I'll give him. I give you my permission to use that line. I need more. Yeah, I need more advertising. More advertisement. Oh, I guess that would be propaganda. Yeah. That's true. Propaganda advertising. Yeah. So the other lady that was in the other side. Did you see how she was winkling her eyes at you? Yeah, I did. You did? Yeah. She I, was checking you out like, oh man, I could do some damage to that man. I know, it's good for an old fart, isn't it? God, how do you do it? I don't know. You know, how do you do it and all these women just, you walk in there and like, you're the star. The part of the brain that uh, said, don't do this, that died. Oh, it did? So Yeah, so my inhibition center went away. So now I let it all hang out. Oh, I see. I see. <laughs> Except so, my zipper part. So, so what? It, what? What would you tell the ladies who are single? Like, what do you got to offer them? A good time? A time of their life? Yeah, I'm like a Robin Williams in the Birdcage. <laughs> no, no, Mrs. Doubtfire. Does <laughs> I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a stud muffin. Yeah, stud muffin. There you go, ladies. He's a stud muffin. So, hey. If you guys want to, uh, uh, one is never. Vacation with me in Virgin Islands. Uh huh. Hey, hit me up, email me, and I'll make sure that you get his number and you guys do what you guys got to do. All right. Do they want my New Mexico number or do they want my Cayman Island number? I think they want them all. Oh, okay. You're going to have so many women like shits on flies or flies on shit. How are you saying? All so right, guys. I'll see you guys to the next time. Take care. We got a long ways to uh, Gainesville.
parties. Here yeah, we good. come. Yeah. Great. The best hamburgers that have. Uh, I'll take one of those cigars. There you go. Go inside. I got to pee. There you go. Well, it's about 9:30. I'm um, north, uh, almost to Gainesville, in a place called. What is it called here? Mikinope. 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 So, almost there. Almost there. This guy. Um, there's this guy here that works in a gas station. If you guys stop here, you know, stop. He'll clean your windows real good and help him out. Tell him homeless too. He's so homeless. I need a mailbox. I need enough money to get a mailbox. A mail bond? Mailbox. Mailbox or bail bond? M mailbox. So help him out. I He's a hardworking man. He don't want nothing for free. He just wants a little hand. So if you guys uh, are around here, stop at this gas station, this Chevron, right off 75, help him out. Help him out. Clean your windows, clean your tires, whatever you need clean on your vehicle. Change your tire, whatever. There you go. Homeless, All right, guys. But not, not He's homeless but not helpless. There you go. So there you go. So uh, we make this other stop, and he wants to stop and say hi to some of his friends. So this is the area I stop. It's a cafe nightclub. Parties. <laughs> 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 <laughs>